So why are organizations looking to purchase green power? And we'll call it green power, you can call it renewable energy, and we'll explain why renewable energy certificates are included with both of these. But first, just looking at the drivers, um, you can see that organizations are very interested in demonstrating environmental leadership, in supporting the development of renewable energy, and in taking action to reduce their carbon footprint. And green power is a way to do all of these things. This is a graph from the EPA's Green Power Partnership, and it shows uh, what the folks engaged in green, the Green Power Partnership, those organizations are interested in doing with with um, why they're motivated to come to this market and buy green power. One thing to recognize is that you do, it's very helpful to have internal drivers that are leaders, either an internal leader um, or some other driver internally to move an organization toward purchasing green power and engaging in the market. And sometimes that means you have shareholders that are, are pushing for um, more environmentally preferable decision making about uh, relating to electricity procurement. Or you have external drivers. You might have customers that uh, would be more likely to purchase the product you make if it's made with renewable energy. Or you're looking at competitors and seeing that they're entering the market and making their products more sustainable. Another thing that can be an external driver is any regulation, either current or something coming down the pipeline that would make you think, oh, I'm going to be required to buy renewable energy in the future, so let's um, get into that market early and learn how to navigate it. So in, in short, we have a short list here, but there are many reasons why you would want to engage in the green power market, and it may look different for everyone, but no matter how you engage, RECs are involved, these renewable energy certificates. And those are the way that renewable energy is tracked and treated. They're actually the tool. And they do things like telling you whether or not your uh, renewable energy that you're purchasing is um, generated, was generated from wind, tells you when uh, that renewable energy was generated, and it proves your ownership of the renewable energy attributes and allows you to make a renewable energy usage claim that is valid. And at the end, we'll talk about claims. Um, but that's a very important thing, is to be able to prove that you own the thing that you purchased, um, and, and that will back up all of your public statements. Green power also affects demand side change on the grid when there are aggregate purchases of renewable energy and with that comes the renewable energy certificate, then the market can begin to grow. Um, and markets are very important uh, in, in playing a role in, this, in the renewable energy space. And uh, it's a very exciting time to be able to, to engage in that. This is also a very safe and established market as we designate here. It has been around for decades, and folks have been able to purchase renewable energy for quite some time. There is definitely an, an increase, as we'll show you, in renewable energy procurement and development all over, which is making it more and more possible for more folks to engage in the market. Um, and renewable energy certificates and RECs as we will emphasize, are a very flexible strategy for reducing your greenhouse gas emissions, specifically those emissions associated with electricity use. Um, you can go online and buy green power in many places, um, or you can go online and buy renewable energy certificates and match them with your electricity. So it's a flexible option that you can customize based on your preferences. And um, there are also many ways you can leverage your purchase, depending on how you talk about it, or participate in purchaser recognition programs. Um, so there are many opportunities to talk about your com environmental commitments. I wanted to dive into just a few of the value propositions for organizations for buying renewable energy just in a little bit more depth. So a primary reason to move towards renewables uh, is the environmental 
benefit and the environmental reasons. So when you're buy renewable energy, and that may be um, buying renewable energy certificates standalone or buying renewable uh, energy certificates and electricity together, as Bob will get into some of the options for buying renewable energy. But when you do that, you're reducing your organization's carbon footprint associated with purchased electricity. So you're not reducing all of your actions that were ever taken. Uh, for example, you wouldn't necessarily be reducing at all the emissions associated with the gasoline from your car, but you are reducing those emissions associated with your electricity usage. Um, and you can, you know, by taking that action, if you are reporting in some corporate, um, you know, corporate greenhouse gas emissions accounting uh, standards, uh, then you could reduce those specific emissions and note those, designate those as, um, you know, your electricity is generated by zero emissions resources. Um, and you, as I mentioned earlier, green power is a flexible option. Um, it is relatively, you know, it's become a very streamlined and simple process to do. Um, and if you have multiple, uh, you know, corporate portfolios, as we write here, but if you have multiple spaces that you're leasing, um, and you are able to see how much electricity is consumed at each spot, you would be able to buy green power for those um, multiple locations. 